We are here with Luanne DeVoe. She is the President and CEO of Ronald McDonald House Charities of Central Florida. She is here to give us a tour and I'm so excited. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming in. It's great meeting you. Welcome to the Ronald McDonald House on the campus of Arnold Palmer and Winnie Palmer Hospitals. This is one of three here in Orlando. We're on the campus of Advent Health and we're also on the campus of Nemours Children's Hospital. And our mission is we are a home away from home for families with children who are receiving treatment in the hospital. So we are part of the comfort and care for, ch for the families of the children. So can you imagine, I mean, I think with COVID and everything else that has gone on, it has really brought it home that when you are stressed and anxious and don't know what's going on truly, and you're trying to navigate, um, you, need, you need comfort and you need care and you need rest. So that's what the Ronald McDonald House does 365 days a year, 24 seven. So families come in, um, they check in. The only requirement is that they have a child that's being treated at the hospital. So they come from all over. Um, majority come from the nine county DMA area as far as families, but we've had families from all over the world. What they do is when they check in, they get an orientation in this room. This wall is our capital campaign wall. So all the people that helped us build this, the brick and mortar, you will appear on this wall. But um, the families are, the, we, our average stay is 9.1 days, uh, but we've had families up to a year as well. And then we have recurring families. So, but uh, we want to make certain that people know about Ronald McDonald House charities. Uh, we have wonderful hospital partners. But again, it's really, really important that they know about us and that we're open and available if they ever need us. And you're about to take us on a tour. We're going to start with the kitchen. We are going to start with the kitchen. I'll just tell you a little bit about the kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of the home. And that's where a lot of families stay. Um, they have coffee together. They may talk together. The illnesses may be different, but they're still all going through the same emotional stress. So that's where they can bond. Um, we also have wonderful groups that come in. Um, we have organizations, corporations, a lot of team building. They come in, they can cook two meal, you know, a cook one meal or two meals a day. Um, they are responsible for shopping. They're uh, responsible for uh, cooking and serving and cleaning up. So, you know, we have a whole group of people. And um, it was Southwest Airlines actually that started the program here and uh, it's been going strong ever since. So. 365 days a year pre-COVID, we were serving two day, two meals a day. It's well, let's fun. go see the rest of the house. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Well, do you have a, a story to share in this room? We do. This room uh, was a computer room, uh, but has been converted for the kids. It's more of an art room and play room, and it all evolved around a little boy that unfortunately passed away with, um, from leukemia, but his parents wanted to honor him. He and his siblings were here for on and off for more than five years. So what we do is um, we call this Parker's Corner in him, remembrance to him. And as I mentioned, his family has developed this so that kids can play and enjoy art and have their own special time. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. And this is our playroom, and it's really for the, the little people, the, the six and under children. And what they do is um, they love to come in here and just play with all of the different toys that have been donated to us. 
We have um, videos for them. We have books. And they love their parents to sit in the rocking chairs and, and read to them. Now, the child may be under, you know, going through medical uh, treatment at the hospital. Some do. Um, but we have a lot of siblings that stay here, too. So as you can imagine, with young pediatric, um, they have siblings. And the parents can't necessarily leave them home. They're a big family that come to support the child. Um, I've told you a little bit about the mural. And the mural was done by a group of uh, community women and artists. And as I mentioned, it was painted when we opened uh, in 2003. And it's really been, it's maintained and it's so lovely. It's very good quality painting too. It's amazing art. Thank you. I, they did a great job. They had fun doing it too. <laughs> and so what are some of the organizations that's donated some of the items here? I know you were telling me about the car and the... Yes, well, Central Florida Auto Dealers they made sure that each of our houses had cars. This happens to be the, the bright yellow Camaro. And um, we have Legoland, we have Disney, Disney um, videos, we have Universal, and then we have so many organizations and community service groups that come in and really do donate. Um, we have people that have talent, that have um, carved out well, you mentioned the motorcycle here, a rocker. Instead of a rocking horse, we have a rocking motorcycle. Um, the horse lives down the street a little bit, but we have had the rocking horse too. So honestly, we are so grateful for everybody in our community, individuals, foundations, uh, organizations, lots of groups that come in and help us. We're a home away from home, so you don't get away with not doing laundry. So um, families uh, are responsible for all of their own laundry while they're here. Um, they do um, need to clean their linens while they're here. Uh, once they leave, then we take everything that's all sanitized for the next group to come in. But most all of our laundry detergents and cleansers are donated by the community. And, um, you know, again, we're trying to keep it as normal as possible while they're going through this medical crisis with their child. We're here, and what are the bedrooms? How about you tell us more Absolutely. about it? Absolutely. Well, um, this is a standard bedroom um, size, although we have several that can offer two beds, two queen beds, um, to make certain that we can cover for those families that, you know, come with extra children, etc. So um, we have 84 bedrooms that are available to families throughout um, Orlando with, uh, with the, the three houses. Um, we have standardized all our uh, bedrooms, make sure that, you know, it's easier for housekeeping, easier for laundry and inventory, etc. So we streamline that. Um, in regard to the beds, Tempur-Pedic is a national sponsor of ours. So every single bed throughout the whole area have Tempur-Pedic beds to sleep on. So um, they are comfortable and all of our families get a good night's sleep. The other thing about this, uh, the bedrooms as well, is we had an all call on artists throughout uh, Orlando and throughout our community. And um, so each bedroom has a unique piece of artwork in it. And um, it just kind of gives it a little bit more flavor for each, each of our families. They're not totally standardized. They have a little artwork. Tell me about the room that we're in right now. Um, this is one of uh, three of our gathering rooms in each of the houses. We, the gathering rooms are extremely important for families to be able to get out, share their stories, have a support system. This particular room was donated by the Dr. Phillips Charities Group. Uh, they had given us the first gift, it was a million dollar gift, to start this second house and second project on the campus of Arnold Palmer. So with that said, we wanted to do something really special and um, so we knew we were going to have a tower 
per the architect. So we said, what a perfect idea is to be able to bring in the beacon of hope. So this room is a lot of fun. Um, I can tell you there's a lot of football being watched and basketball and a lot of popcorn being eaten. So this is a fun room for us. So as we've discussed throughout the tour, we are a home away from home for families with children who are hospitalized in our community. And we have many, many gathering spots for our families to be able to come, feel comfortable and distress. And um, so decompress, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, you'll see rocking chairs and every one of our three houses has outdoor areas so that families can really get out, smell fresh air and you know, just some normalcy. So we're really excited that you're here today to see our house and we appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for having me. This is definitely an amenity for the parents while their children are, are getting the help that they need. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.